I want to keep my mom at a safe distance because if I let her too close to me, she will just hurt me. I feel like porn is my only option. I would honestly rather live on the streets and do porn rather than live with either one of my parents. Kylie says she'd be better off living on the streets than with either of her parents. Uh, Kylie says she's living with her dad. Her dad suffers from OCD, according to his daughter. She says it's terrifying. She's actually dropped weight since moving in with him. Take a look at this element. My dad has the most severe OCD on the face of the earth. He has extreme rituals and routines. I can't go in the kitchen. I can't touch anything. And if you spill something, you f idiot, he freaks out. And whenever I'm hungry, he's like, why? So you can just go throw it up and waste more money? Kylie has continued to be a bulimic during the time she's lived with me. She binges and purges probably two to three times a day. If I go downstairs and eat in the middle of the night, he wakes me up at five and makes me clean everything. I'll wake up you know, in the morning and there'll be a mess on the kitchen table and a mess in the sink. Since living with my dad, I've lost quite a bit of weight because I'm honestly terrified to go in his kitchen. Since she's moved in with her father, I'm concerned because she's lost 15 pounds. I believe that it's possible that Paula's issues with food have rubbed off on Kylie. I just don't feel that she's getting any better. If anything, she's getting worse. You have issues with OCD? I'm pretty tidy. <laughs> That'd be a yes? Yes. Yeah, this doesn't to be ashamed of, but it is something to acknowledge and deal with. And, it, and you think it's very definitely an issue with him, right? Yeah. You feel like, you know, I, I've said many times that you can't change what you don't acknowledge. And you feel like your, your mother's not coming clean here, that she's not being honest, right? Yeah. Uh, what do you think that she's not being forthcoming about? I just feel like you are trying to say that, like, I wanted to do porn, and that's never how it was. I don't like, think you ever wanted to do it. I don't think that you felt you were you worthy of anything You don't understand how else. much it hurt me, but, like, you were Kylie, so... Kylie, I do. You came to me and cried you about it, and you told me that you felt horrible, and... Do you ever... Let me, can I interrupt you guys? Have you ever noticed that you never listen? You never listen that whenever she starts talking, you start talking. You never listen because you want to get your message out there. So as a result, you never hear what she has to say. And she's learned well because she doesn't listen to you either. Let me tell you what you haven't heard her say. Okay. And it doesn't matter whether you agree with it or not because perception is reality. And, and what she has told you, no matter how much you think it's not true, she has at least convinced herself that she felt trapped, that she didn't feel worthy of doing anything but that, and that she felt like the only time that you ever really showed her any positive regard. Now, don't start thinking about what you're going to say I'm next. I'm not, I'm not, I'm... Oh my God, will you... Okay, we're done here. I'm gonna talk to her, because you don't want to talk to me. Because you are a right fighter, lady. You want to be right. You don't want to be happy. You want to be right. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.